Hello you, absolute legends. Well, today it's time for another workshop, which will be in a series of describing the tools which are available for Skynd PWA. And the first one will be the X debug, which is actually a great, greatest debugger for PHP. And uh, it's very common to require it when working with complex applications like Magento. So the question is how to install or use Xdebug on uh, our machines. Well, first things first, you have to install the Scandi PWA. You can do it in different ways and when installed on existing Magento instance, you might already be familiar on how to configure the Xdebug. It's same for all setups. But for the Docker setup, let me show you the details. So, we have our installation of Scandi PWA in the uh, folder, for example, in our case, this is the folder called My Project. So, we remember this from our installation lesson. And currently, we would like to check if we have uh, an xdebug set up. So in order to do it, let's open our project in some editor. First it will be VS Code and later we'll switch to PHP Storm because this is what the most PHP developers are working with. So here it's just a text editor for me to showcase you that. Uh, we have this .n file. And inside of this .n file, we can see there is a project image tag, which we will later choose change to a specific value in order to get xdebug working. So, before we do it, let's check if we already have an xdebug configured. To do it, let's go to src folder and navigate to pub, because pub is our web root, is the root of our application where the nginx is looking into. Cool, we open the index.php and let's see what we can do here. So uh, let's in here, instead of getting to all of this, let's do exit with php info, which is a function. And let's see how it will go. So let's switch back to our scan to PWA local and now try to load it. And immediately we can see that it loaded but we can see no mention of xdebug here because here will be the place where xdebug would appear if it would be installed and let's search for xdebug well there is already a config for it passed but still no xdebug which means that for xdebug to work we just need to install it to the application container and here is the place where the uh, where this image tag comes into play. So, our in our case, we need to change it to xdebug. But, uh, yeah, so let's change it for xdebug. We change this for xdebug, and now it's time to rebuild the application and pull the application container image from our uh, storage. So let's do it. We need to open the terminal up. I can see that here I need to type dc which is our alias and here we will go pull which container the application so we will pull the application container so as you may see it's now pulling and for you it might take a little bit more time for me it's to it took very little because i already had this xdebug image pulled and now what i do is i do dc up minus d so i'm recreating the uh stack i'm adding the dash dash force dash recreate why i'm doing so because i want to stop previously running containers and i want to run them again so this is like go doing dc down and dc up minus d so i'm doing dc up minus d dash dash force recreate and I'm pressing and waiting. So in a matter of seconds, I should uh, have restarted my 
container setup. And then I will need to wait until the application container will start up. Notice, right when you and right when you install the xdebug to your setup, it becomes slower. This is because how xdebug works internally. It tries to, I would say, proxy all of the connections through it, which means that the PHP is limiting PHP uh, is limiting uh, the amount of concurrent requests it can handle. So uh, the application might become slower. Slower. Uh, yes. So now let's see the app logs, and let's see uh, when our application will start. Yes. So be aware, this could take a little bit longer than usual. Well, the xdebug has, or the setup with xdebug has been successfully started and we can see that it's ready to handle the connections. So, which means that we can happily go and try scan the PW local. But first, let's bring back uh, the this part, uh, the index.php part where we had exit php info so we can see that it is let's go to any other url and yeah and we can see that xdebug has appeared here so just for you to see better uh, here it is here with xdebug so that's a thing to notice very good now we can remove this and uh, we can refresh hopefully it will now work it will of course take much longer now to render and you might start hearing my computer being a little bit louder it starts to starts using its fans so yes and right after it gives us the response we can go ahead and try to configure the php storm uh, so now let's open our php storm and wait until it starts inside we will be configuring the uh, xdebug so let's open the project the project will be located here in uh, my project and here i can open this kind of pw base and now it's going to open let me also open this up and here is the same setup we have just seen but we have no configuration here and no configuration of xdebug here so first we open the preferences and search for xdebug it will open us the languages and frameworks php dash debug here and we will find the xdebug configuration so my recommendation is to uh, disable force break at first line and force break uh, when the script is outside of the project. But it's important to uh, enable the ignorance of external connections. If you want to read this configuration as well, I can recommend you going to docs.scandpwa.com, scrolling a little bit down and opening the xdebug session. And here you can see that the port should be 9111. Uh, we should uh, select that it can accept external connections, enable the ignorance of external uh, connections and uh, everything else can be chosen by our preference. So debug port 9111 and can accept, ignore, that's it. I really recommend you adding nothing else. This should be enough. So I press OK. And now it's time to go to here and press on add configuration. I'm pressing here. Um, for some reason it's oh I cannot add while the PHP storm is indexing very sad let's wait a little bit until it finishes and then add the server and the xdebug remote debug configuration itself well the PHP storm has finally 
finished the indexing of the project and now we can safely click on adding the configuration. From here we need to press on the plus sign and select the remote debugging. PHP remote debugging is selected and now we can enable, we can name it first of all, let's name it scan, scan the PWA debugger and here we can filter debugging by key and we still have no server, we will select it later on and for key it will be the PHP storm. Yes, very good. Now we can apply this configuration but go here and click on create a new server. Here we need to enter the name for it. It will be the scandpwa.local server. Here we are entering the local host. It's potentially it will potentially advise me to change it to 127001, which is the port, but it's fine. For the port, we should choose the 301 and uh, we should enable the source mapping and we'll map the src folder to the var www slash public that should be it we click apply um, and we click ok this we click apply and we click ok now the scanned pwa debugger has appeared here it's time to test it Let's go to pub and put an endpoint, put the breakpoint here in params. Uh, as you might notice, if we press here and make a request to slash GraphQL, nothing will happen. And despite the request taking too long, the PHP storm won't intercept it. So why is this? This is because it's required to set the AP alias. On Linux, you should copy this command and execute it in your favorite terminal. So I'll open my terminal up. Let me don't scale it. Yeah. And I can now put paste my command here. It will ask me for the password. And after I enter this in, it should start working. I'm sorry, I started the wrong application. Yes, so now if I put the, uh, the VS code is also not necessary. So now if I if I open my debugger and place the breakpoint, I should be able to request this URL and voila, the debugger has caught the request and now we can see the variables and play around. Yeah, so params, which we just took. And here, here is how you set up XDebug. Happy coding, guys.